<laughs> I'm not really ready to talk about this. I'm gonna see if I can find a place to set my camera. I tried, but the geese were so loud. The kids are waiting for me, but I want to do this while it's still fresh on my mind and while I'm able to talk about it. It's been a few days. I took a little break. I just needed some time. It's been a rough couple of days. The last video I shared, I talked about my dog Lacey and how she was sick and had a tumor and we didn't know how much time she had left. Well, she had way less time than I ever imagined. And I tried to talk about it shortly after it happened. And I'll share a little bit of that right now. <laughs> I'm not really ready to talk about this. About an hour ago, Lacey, my dog, passed away. Yeah, I'm definitely not ready. She was a good dog, she'll be missed. It was a blessing, she went quickly. Just, just three days ago, she was jumping up on me when I came home. She was so happy to see me. And she, she's had a tumor for a while. We knew it was there and we knew she wouldn't have time. We had another Bernice Mountain Dog that passed away last summer. Same thing, same issue. I was on the phone with Dutch when it happened. I was talking to him and I knew she was gone. I was there with her. Yep, she was a good dog. Okay, that was pretty raw and I couldn't talk anymore after that. And it's taken me a little bit of time, but I wanna tell you about the story of Lacey. She was my surprise puppy. I know, that sounds strange, doesn't it? For many years, we had three Bernice Mountain Dogs. We had Zoe, Samson, and Lacey. Originally, we had two dogs. Dutch talked me into getting two Bernice Mountain Dogs. I said I didn't want two huge dogs because I knew they'd be house pets. And they are big dogs. But he talked me into it. He said, that we'll get a male and a female, and then we can breed them. And I thought, okay, if we're gonna get two dogs, we can breed them, then we can raise puppies. What a wonderful experience that will be. So I agreed to two dogs. Dutch was working downstate Michigan at that time, and he found two beautiful Bernice Mountain Dog puppies from different breeders. They're not related at all. And he brought them home. We immediately fell in love with those two puppies. They were huge puppies, but they were awesome. They were so much fun. And then a week later, Dutch came home with a surprise. He had a third puppy. He didn't talk to me about it ahead of time because he knew I would say, no, I don't want a third puppy. Two is more than enough. That was Lacey. She was so cute. She was more than I ever expected and she was a great dog. Yep, my surprise puppy. That's the story of Lacey. She'll be missed by all of us. She was a great dog. If you are ever looking for a great family dog, Bernice Mountain Dogs make wonderful pets. They're huge, they're friendly, they're cuddly to a certain extent. <laughs> When you try to hug them, they just start panting. They're so excited to see you and to cuddle with you. And dogs, they work their way into your heart and into your life. She was well loved. We will definitely miss Lacey. But we still have Samson and we are going to enjoy all the time we have left with him. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. I beat a dead by dog. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, I missed you too. Hello, Samson. Come on, Lacey. All right. Lacey, sit. Yeah, you sit. Good girl. Oh, did you miss me? Oh, I heard you were sick while I was gone. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a good girl. Yeah, you miss me. Oh, I gotta unload the rest of my stuff. Oh, yeah. There she am a little bit boy. She miss me too, not as much as Lacey, maybe. Oh, you're crazy, Lacey. Oh, you're a crazy puppy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera away, then I can greet both of them. Because here she comes again. Oh, nope.